Takashi 6'9 has been jumped again. I don't think there's a way for him to avoid getting jumped. He's a rat snitch, and I think people are just jumping him because he's a rat snitch, yeah. and they're doing it for fame. Mm -hmm. Apparently, he was in Florida, right, somewhere. He was in a... He was taking a sauna. What's Takashi 6ix9ine doing, uh, using Swedish therapeutics for? I think he was taking a sauna without his security. I think he figured he'd be safe in the health club without the sauna. Little did he know, there was a couple of guys in there that beat the shit out of him in a video. I mean, they beat him... They beat him mercilessly, and it, part of it was filmed. I think it was filmed by a guy who wasn't involved either. So he was just filming it. Yeah. Here's the deal. If Takashi 6 ix getting jumped and I'm there, I'm filming it. <laughs> it's filmable. Mm -hmm. Some people getting jumped is filmable. Some people aren't. Okay? If I'm walking down the street and somebody who is not famous is getting jumped, I'm not stopping to film it. I'm running the other way to get away from it. But if Takashi 6 ix he's filmable. So, uh, but the, people are so stupid. The guy who beat him was like on camera. His face was on camera and he's been arrested or whatever. But if you see a picture of the guy that beat him, it doesn't look like the type of dude who would care if he got filmed doing that. He's not a, he's not a warm looking guy. No, he's not very photogenic. He, he looks like his parent. He, he definitely didn't get his emotional needs met by his parents when he was during his formative years. Yes. <laughs> he's hardened. Mm -hmm. Instead of crying about it, he went the other way and got hard about it. Yes, he did. He punches others. Hmm? He likes to punch others because he's, his dad was didn't give him hugs when he needed it. Um, this is the second time he's been jumped. The third time, he, he, it might be the end of Takashi 6 9 because the third time's a charm. Um, it, it's tough to get jumped in your socks. <laughs> and first of all, why is he wearing socks in the sauna? See, see, what is he, Maurice? He's, he's subconscious about his feet. <laughs> I don't want people to look at my feet. That's it. So he was wearing his socks in the sauna. They dragged him out. And did you see the one kick to the ribs? Yeah. That clean, big stomp to the ribs. Mm -hmm. And the guys were big. The thing is, Takashi 6 9 has got a big fucking mouth. When you live this life and you're on rap videos going, ra -ta -ta -ta, ra -ta -ta -ta, all the time, you can expect live by the gun, die by the gun. You know? Although, you know, that's not always true, right? Because I think all of NWA is alive, and the one of them died from AIDS from banging it, <laughs> secretly banging a guy. He didn't die in some gangster shit. But also, you know, who did get shot was John Lennon, and all he sang about was peace. So sometimes the script changes. Sometimes it doesn't go by the rules. But I think when you rap about ra -ta 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 -ta, I think if you have ra -ta 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 in a couple of your songs, there's a good chance you might get ra -ta 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 -ta. So uh, it's 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 called getting a taste of your own medicine. Yeah, yeah. So six nines attorney Lance Lazaro, <laughs> how you doing, Takashi? I I heard I heard what fucking happened. I'm on the case. He was inside the sauna. He was having a sauna, having a little sauna. Yo, you think he was in there? Like, yo, what's up, man? It's Takashi, you hurt? Fuck y'all, you hurt? Um, by the way, he says the N word all the time. Yeah, I mean, he says it with the A at the end. Nobody thinks he's saying that, but he's he can say it. Well, with the why can a Mexican guy say it and a white guy can't? Because with the amount of tattoos he has, he can pass his black. He can pass his black. <laughs> he's darker with those tattoos. Yeah. And his fucking bubblegum, he's got all that rainbow hair. Yeah. He's very LGBT. His hair is very LGBTQ friendly. When he sweats, it looks like he's in a Gatorade commercial. <laughs> it does. <laughs> he put this dude on a fucking pride float. <laughs> why is he at a LA Fitness? Dude, why is he at a LA Fitness? Why is he in the sauna? Yeah. Because you know who goes into the sauna? Uh, fat, pale dudes who like to drape a towel over their toe while they're fucking Cock and balls are out with mm -hmm. a big gut hiding their little fucking shrimp penis or gay guys sending messages to other gay guys. The sauna is a gay fucking meetup club where guys send messages to each other. I used to work in a um, fitness club and that was something that we dealt with. The way you said fitness club, though, <laughs> makes me think that you were in the sauna. Fitness club. <laughs> Yeah, 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 hey, 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 goodbye, He definitely yeah, had yeah, to yeah, qualify yeah. that information. Yeah, right? you, you took it. 
you spent your lunch breaks in the locker room for sure. There's no way to masculinely do this dance. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna try to make it masculine as I can. <laughs> Whenever you palms up, you can't. Yo, son, what you say about me? You talking shit? No. You throw palm. Yo, come here. I'm gonna beat you up. You can't. Yo, fuck you, dude. Look, I'm, I'm trying to be as masculine as possible. Like, yo, fuck you, dude. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. Yeah. Can't do it. You either look gay or you look like a puppet. Yeah. <laughs> so this is his second time. He got beat up at a Dubai club as well mm. by some DJ. They called him a rat or whatever, and then he just converged on him. Um, you know, he was all happy about being a rat, too. He's like, I'm a rat, but I'm still top of the billboard chart, son. He's walking around throwing money on the floor. <sighs> yeah, you can't blend in with this look. Yeah. It's such a weird American thing, the throwing money on the floor and, like, bragging about the money and like at his cars you ever see those videos he does where he's just throwing money on the floor yeah. and he just look at all this money i could throw it on the floor it's like who cares <laughs> but people care you ever see guap videos when people are eating money mm -hmm. or using the money as like a block of to talk what the fuck is that well you guys do it at the greek weddings throw money we throw money at the dances by the way yeah we're the original did you know that no yeah yeah make it rain greek's been doing that shit for centuries maybe a thousand years that's nice yeah we can't do it now though why the country of greece can't do it now though now the financial you, crisis they had to throw yeah they yeah, were throwing that, pennies you would make it hail yeah yeah they were they were throwing ious they were going ious they were throwing debts at yeah. weddings they're going i'll pay you later i'll it's pay lot, you later i'll pay you later i'll pay you later a lot of strippers going home with bruises yeah <laughs> In fact, that's why I think the Greek financial crisis, why they took the loans that they did from uh, from Germany, is because they're like, "Yo, we need some of these euros to throw at weddings." <laughs> so that that the the economy of wedding throwing money at weddings needed some cash flow. Yeah.